Duff's a hard fought victory today at home to Stafford Rangers. What were your overall thoughts on that one? Yeah, you know, I spoke to the lads at the end then, and plenty of teams are going to come here and, you know, sit in that low to mid block um, and try and frustrate us. And, you know, I thought that's what they've done. Um, when we played the game on our terms and we moved the ball about the pitch quickly and got down the sides of them, we looked really threatening. When we played on their teams and tried to go through the middle of the park and force play a little bit, um, it looked a bit scruffy and scrappy at times. But I just said to the lads at half time, just relax and just keep moving it from side to side and you know try and get down the sides. I thought Kenji and Duffy was causing them real problems. Um, and yeah, just just it, it's about patience. Um, that, that that's what it boils down to is being patient really and not really trying to force that pass because. You know, you know, everyone gets a little bit frustrated because we haven't scored early, but uh, a lot of teams are going to do that, so it's a learning curve for us. You've been there in patience. Just how much was that a part of our game plan this afternoon? Yeah, definitely. We'd done the analysis on them and we knew what they were going to do. They set up in a 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one, um, and it, it, they're compact and it, they put the bodies on the line. And they, they make it tough for you to get through them, but the space is on the outside of them. And I thought when we'd done that... Um, and we had Kenji and Duffy one versus one with the fullbacks. Um, we had real joy with that. Then we got the overloads with Trey and Brando going forward, and we looked dangerous. It was just sort of when we got a little bit impatient, we tried to force those passes through the middle of the park, which there was too many bodies in there. It was too congested. So, I said it's, it's it's learning for everyone really. We emphasised in our interview on Thursday just how important the squad will be over the next coming weeks. Um, that was clearly evident today with Tom Pierce coming on getting a goal and Kane coming on getting assist. How pleased were you with their contributions off the bench? Yeah, definitely, and I, I have just mentioned that to the players. I always do mention it. It, it. It's a squad game, and you know we have got a fantastic squad here. Um, I just thought the game was crying out for somebody a little bit more physical on the top end of the pitch, and then we could drop Alex into the 10, where he gets in the half turn and looks to link play, and I thought him and, him and, um, him and Tom done really well with the little link-up play. I'm really pleased for Tommy worked the socks off you know, today. And he, he possibly could have had another goal or two. Um, and then obviously Kane's come on, he's been out now for a few weeks, but he, he looks sharp on Thursday. So it was just about getting him a little bit of game time. And then again, really pleased for him because he, he's a top player and he, he offers us, you know, that li a little bit different uh, than, than what we've got, sort of. Which is good because, you know, we, you can't have too many of the same players. We need, we need that variety. Um, and, and, and he done really well, but so did the all, all Duff, Kenji, um, the all done superb. We talk a lot about our attacking threat, but just how good were we defensively today with Sam Heathcote and Lewis Fenton in particular holding the fort down? Yeah, definitely, and you know we, we've said that to the lads. If we keep clean sheets, we believe that we'll score in you know a lot of the games that we play in. Um, but it's not just the, you know the goalkeeper and the back lads. It's the lads in front and the midfield. I thought they were fantastic. Um, you know, Dorsch and Mendy and, and John Rooney in there, um, and then the lads at the front. You know what we said to them. What what, what Stafford will do is they'll play back to front. Um, they'll try and pump it to the big man up top, and they'll play for second balls and, and flick ons. So if we can stop that at source, really, um, that 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 that'll help the lads at the back. And I, I thought the the forward line really done that well today. The games keep coming thick and fast with Ilkeston coming up on Tuesday night um, with them winning 4-0 away at Lancaster City today. Just how much of a test will that be against an informed side? Yeah, you know, it, of course, all, all the games are a test. You know. um, so, you know, we, we'll go away, get the lads to prepare right for the game. We'll do the analysis on them. Um, we'll, we'll look at the strengths, we'll look at the weaknesses. Obviously, they're on you know, a bit of form right now, so it should be um, a really entertaining game.